in this lesson, we're going to take a look at understanding place value. And when you're moving from place to place to the left in the place value chart, you increase in value in terms of multiplying by 10. So basically, it's times 10 to the left. And opposite of that, or the inverse of that, you could say, in math terms, when you're moving to the right, from place to place on the place value chart, you are decreasing in terms of dividing by 10. So more simply said or stated, it's divide to the right. So this is standard 5.NBT.1, or 5NBT1. So what better way to understand this is to take a look at an example. So we have this number, 7,777. And we can break that down and, and think of, of the word place value. So we've got the word place value. So there's a difference between place and value. So we've got each place in the place value system has a different value. And how do we determine what, what the difference in that value would be? Well, let's take a look at this example. We've got 7,777. And you think about your knowledge of the place value system. We've got the ones place. So this digit seven in the ones place would be seven times one. And you're probably thinking, well, that would have a value of seven. And you'd be exactly right. It does. A seven in the ones place does have a value of seven. So now we've got the next place over. You're probably thinking, hmm, I know that, that this, that's the tens place. And again, you'd be right. However, the same digit seven has a completely different value when it's in a different place. So in this case, it's in the tens place. You got it. That's right. So seven times 10, what would that be? Now that's one of those basic facts. You're thinking seven times 10 is 70. And there you go. Indeed, you're right. Good job. So we'll move on over to the left here. And you might notice a pattern as we move to the left. Let's see if you can figure out what it is. Okay, so this 7, again, it's the same digit 7, isn't it? However, it does have a completely different value. It's in the hundreds place. We want ones, tens, hundreds. So we noticed we multiplied by 1, by 10, by 100. So let's try it. 7 times 100 would be 700, if you're thinking that. Good for you. And then we'll move on one more place to the left. And, the, and this would, I mean, this pattern that, that we'll see would continue infinitely as we travel on the place value chart to the left. So we think, OK, 7 is in the thousands place. Again, that same digit 7, it's in the thousands place. So what value would it have? Well, in this case, it would have a value of 7 times 1,000 or 7,000. So now you can probably see a pattern developing here. So as, as you move from 7 to 70, we can think in terms of multiplication. So in this case, where we do, OK, we think to ourselves, 7 times what would equal 70? Let's see probably thinking to yourself, well, that is a basic fact, and you're right, it is. So let's put that in there. 7 times 10 would equal 70. And therefore, we have to do something in terms of multiplication to 70 to get a product of 700. So 70 times what? equals 700. Well, I noticed 7 times 10 was 70. Let's try times 10 here. Oop, let me just change that marker color back to stay consistent. We've got times 10 again. We can do a little calculation down here. So let's check it out. 70 times 10. Do a little lattice work here. Um, this was voted to be the most popular method of multiplication. 
I'm going to put a survey out. If you uh, want some more details on how to do the lattice method, you can check out the video on four ways to multiply multi-digit numbers. But anyhow, we've got, let's see, we'll start with the one. One times zero would be zero. One times seven would be seven. Zero times anything is going to be zero. Zero property working there. Zero times seven. Zero again. You're thinking that good for you. So now in the lattice method, we kind of add whole, um, diagonally. So we've got Uh, zero plus nothing, that would still remain zero. Zero plus zero plus zero. Zero, zero plus seven plus zero would be seven. And then we have a zero up here. We don't really have to represent that right there. That's okay. So as you can see, um, as you move to the left from place to place, we've got right there 700. And... Uh, Add that seven back in there. I made it disappear on accident. We all make mistakes. There's a little one. But anyhow, we've got 70 times 10 was indeed 700. So you can see this pattern going on here. We've got 7 times 10 equals 70. We've got 70 times 10 equals 700. And you could probably predict. And the good thing about this place value system, it is very predictable. And when you move from place to place to the left, you are in fact multiplying by... 10. So as you move to the left, I mean, if you think about it, would you rather have uh, 7 in terms of money in your in your wallet? Would you rather have, move back up here so we can see our original number, a digit 7 in the ones place or the thousands place? Hmm. As you move to the left, you're increasing in value. You'd probably want a 7 in the thousands place if it was to represent money in your wallet. Of course. Um, so there it is, 7,000. And as you move to the left, each place you move, it's actually moving up in terms of a power of 10, or you're multiplying by 10 each time. We'll get into more specifics on multiplying by powers of 10 in a different lesson. You can check that out. That's out there for you. And let's continue this 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 line of thinking. So as you move to the left, you're multiplying by 10 with each place you move. Now, you can also think of it the opposite way. So you've got, if you're starting at 7,000 and you're moving one place to the right, you're going from 7,000 to 700. Your number's getting smaller, so let's think of the opposite motion or the inverse in, to multiplication would be division. So we're dividing 7,000 by something and ending up with 700. So 7,000 divided by what equals 700? Well, like I said, that place value chart is very predictable. It's it's based on tens um, and powers of ten. So let's take a look at this. So if we move from seven thousand divided by ten, we can eliminate one of those zeros. We we learned that trick earlier. So in fact, it would be seven hundred. And once again, it's so nicely predictable. It's always you can rely on it. It's 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 like that every step of the way in the place value system. So we've got. 700 divided by 10 would equal 70. And 70 divided by 10 again would equal 7. There you go. So as you're moving to the right in the place value system, when you're moving from place to place to the right, you're it's like the value is, like, with each step of the way, is dividing by 10. So really... As you move to the left, it's 10 times more each way. And as you're moving to the right, it's really one-tenth of the value of the previous place. So it's like you could say divided by 10, or you could actually, in fact, say multiply by one-tenth as you move to the right in the place value chart. 
and that would work for you just as well. And if you're not sure how to multiply, like say 70 by one tenth, you could check out our multiplying fractions by whole numbers video. That that's there for you too. Check it out. It's there for you. I hope it helps. Um, so let's move on. Again, to review a little bit, if we are moving to the left in the place value chart, ones to tens, the tens place is 10 times more than the ones place. And as we go to the, from the hundreds to the thousands, the thousands has a, a value that is 10 times greater than the hundreds. And then if you reverse this flow, and you go to the right, so as you're moving to the right, it really is like one tenth of the value of the place to the left. So the hundreds place is one tenth the value of the thousands place, or you could divide by 10 to get from one to the other as you move to the right on the place value chart. And this continues from hundreds to tens, and then from, from tens to ones. Now, another uh, example, after let me just, just jot those. Let's see, so we've got multiply by 10, we'll jot that in there. This is, this is key to understanding place value because it is a base 10 system based on powers of 10. And then you, again, you divide by 10. I can't repeat this en enough. It is of utmost importance in fully understanding the place value system that we have. So you're dividing by 10. And like I said, or you can view it as, it's like saying the same as multiplying by 1 tenth. And if I had, um, sometimes working with ones is easier to understand. So let's, let's jot a few of those down there. We're going to extend this page out, bounce that up there. Uh, for example, let me just, we've got, say, this will represent one, okay? So if you take a look at the place value chart, and we've got this equals, uh, let's say, let's change it up and be a little more creative, why don't we? And uh, we'll say that we'll get two of these going here, or I could just clone this one, copy it, either way. So now we've got an, another one, oops, another one to work with. So let's, Let's be a little more creative in our thinking. We've got this one. I'm going to divide up in 10 equal parts. Mind you, it should be equal. My drawings or math drawings are really there to represent your ideas. Actual pieces or fractions should be the same size. Okay, they should be equal shares. So I'm going to represent this as, as or 10. Okay, this represents 10. So you can clearly see a lot of a lot of times we use those rods and cubes to represent uh, numbers in the place value system. And that's what I'm doing right here. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this one will show 10 as well. So divide that up. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, oh. Like I said, we'll just represent at that as ten. Now it should be the same size again. I can't uh, emphasize that enough, but math drawings kind of represent your ideas. So with that understanding, we've got this would be ten, and then I'm just going to shade in another one, or or this this portion here, to represent the number one. Okay. Now. So if you move this, if you move from the ones place to the tens place, you can see that a 10, or the, representing the tens place as well, is really 10 times greater than the one. And then if you move from the 10 to the one, you can see this is one tenth of this 10. 
So that's like one tenth. And what happens when you multiply 10 times one tenth? Well, you can also also think of of every whole number as as having a denominator of one. We've covered that in many of the fraction videos. You can check those out as well. When you're multiplying fractions, you multiply the numerator times the numerator. In the traditional method, there's also a visual met fraction method, and that there's videos on that as well. But right now, we'll just use this. So 10 times 1 would be 10. And then 1 times 10 again would be 10. And you can see that, that indeed, whenever you have the same numerator and denominator, 10 out of 10, if you had 10 parts, it's like having a whole candy bar, and you have all 10 pieces, that would equal 1. So again, so as you're moving to the right in place value, say if you're going from 10 to the, the 10's place to the 1's place, you can see it really is 1 tenth. So the 1's place is 1 tenth of the 10's place. So that's a little um, concrete example of that. So once again, we were looking at understanding place value in this lesson. Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com, and we'll see you again next time.